Hi, this is Riyan from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will install and configure DHCP Server role on Windows Server 2019. DHCP Server is used to assign a dynamic IP address to computers. This is a complete lab guide on a DHCP Server role. We want to configure this Windows Server 2019 computer as a DHCP Server. First, we need to assign a static IP address to this Server 2019. For that, I'm going to right click on Start button and let's select Network Connections. Click on Change Adapter Options. On Network Connections console, select your network adapter, right click on it and select Properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4 and click on Properties. Select Use the following IP address and assign the IP address as per your local network. I'm assigning IP address 192.168.1.10 with default subnet mask and default gateways address will be 192.168.1.1. We are using the same IP address as a, our preferred DNS server address because that is the IP address of my router. Click on OK. Click on Close and let's close both open consoles. After assigning a static IP address to our server 2019, we can start installation of DHCP server rule. For that, I'm going to click on Start button and let's open Saw Manager. On Saw Manage console, I'm going to click on Add Rules and Features link. Click on Next. It is a rule based installation and that is selected. Server 2019 computer with the IP address 192.168.1.10 is selected. Remember, this is a workgroup server. Click on Next. Select DHCP server. Click on Add Features. Click on Install to start the installation. After completing DHCP server rule installation, let's click on Close to close this console. But still, we need to complete DHCP configuration. For that, I'm going to click on Notification Bar. And let's click on Complete DHCP Configuration link. That is going to start a new wizard called DHCP Post Install Configuration Wizard. This is going to create two security groups for delegation of DHCP server rule, which are DHCP administrators and DHCP users. Let's click on Commit and click on Close. After installing and configuring DHCP server rule, it's time to create DHCP scopes. For that, we need to open DHCP Management Console. We can open DHCP Management Console by clicking on Tools and clicking on DHCP. Let's expand our server name which is Server 2019. Expand IP version 4. As you can see, on this console, we can read about DHCP scope. To create a new scope, we need to right-click on IP version 4 and select New Scope. Click on Next. Here, assign a DHCP scope name. Once you provide DHCP scope name and description, click on Next. Enter the IP address range that our DHCP server is going to distribute using this DHCP scope. In my case, starting IP address will be 192.168.1.15 and end IP address will be 192.168.1.253. We are using default subnet mask which is 255.255.255.0. Click on next. Here type the IP address or IP address range that you want to exclude from given IP address range. For example, if our range includes the IP address of our print server, we probably do not want our clients to use it. So we would add its IP address to this list. Suppose the IP address of our print server is 192.168.1.22 which falls between the given IP address. So we want to add this IP address as an exclusion. For that, we simply need to click on Add button. And now you can see that IP address is listed here. Click on Next. On the list duration screen, enter the length of time a client can use IP address 
given by our DHCP server, which is set to default 8 days, and we are going to use it. If you want to configure DHCP scope options right now, then select yes. And if you want to configure DHCP scope options later on, then select no. Enter the IP address of your default gateway, which is 192.168.1.1 in our case. Let's click on add and click on next. If you are using DHCP server or with Active Directory and you want that your DHCP server can also assign parent domain name suffix to DHCP clients, that time you need to specify the name of your Active Directory domain in front of parent domain name. Already 192.168.1.1 is listed as the IP address of your DNS server. If you want to add other address as a DNS server address, that time you need to add that address here and click on add button. If you are using WINS in your network, you can specify the IP address of your WINS server here. If you want to activate this DSCP scope now, then select yes. And if you want to activate this DSCP scope later on, then select no. Click on finish and after that, you will have your new DHCP scope. Let's click on it. Here we can see DHCP scope name is there. If we click on address pool, then we can see the range of our DHCP IP scope. If we click on address lease, here we can see the information about the IP address which is leased by our DHCP server. If you have any DHCP reservation created on your server, that will be listed here. Click on scope options that will display DSCP scope options which we have configured earlier. Let's activate our DSCP scope. After that, our DSCP server can assign IP addresses. For that, we need to click on our DSCP scope, right click there and select activate. After that, you will see one green correction symbol in front of IP version 4. That means now our DSCP server is ready to assign IP addresses to client computer. To test functionality of our DHCP server, we have one Windows 10 client PC. Currently, this PC is assigned with a static IP address. Let's test whether our DHCP server can assign IP address dynamically to this Windows 10 client PC or not. For that, I'm going to right click on start button and let's select network connections. Click on change adapter options, select a Ethernet adapter, right click on it and select properties. Click on Internet Protocol version 4 and click on properties. Let's select Optin and IP address automatically and select Optin DNS server address automatically and click on OK button. Click on close and wait for a few seconds. After that, we'll have a dynamic IP address from our DSCP server. Let's verify that. Let's right click on our adapter and select status. Click on details and here we can verify the IP address which is assigned to this Windows 10 client PC is 192.168.1.15 with the default subnet mask. Here we can see information about lease duration, default gateways address is there and important thing is there IP version 4 DSCP server which is 192.168.1.10 in our case. DNS server address is also listed here. Let's verify the same thing on our DSCP server as well. Let's click on address leases. Right click here and select refresh. And here we can see information about our Windows 10 client PC. DSCP server has assigned the IP address 192.168.1.15 to our Windows 10 PC which is going to expire on this time duration. And here we can see the MAC address of our Windows 10 client PC. After seeing this entry under address lease, we can say that we have successfully installed and configured DHCP server role on Windows Server 2019. We also want to see the steps to create a DHCP reservation as well. For that, we need to click on reservation, right click on it and select new reservation. Specify reservation name. Specify the IP address which you want that your DHCP server assign to that client PC. 
specify the MAC address of that client PC, for example. So whenever DHCP server will see this MAC address in a DHCP IP request, that time DHCP server will dynamically assign IP address 192.168.1.23 to that client PC. If you want to add description about that PC, you can. Let's click on add. Click on close and now we have a DHCP reservation. We can also create DHCP reservation directly from address list. For that, we need to select the existing lease information, right click on it and select add to reservation. Here we are receiving message that lease converted successfully into reservation. Click on OK and let's click on reservation. Here we can see we have a two reservation created under our DHCP server. In future, if you want to deactivate your DHCP scope, for that you need to click on your DHCP scope, right click on it and select a deactivate. After that, your DSCP server is not going to provide IP addresses to the client computers. In this lab guide, we have learned the steps to install and configure DSCP server role on Windows Server 2019, as well as we have seen the steps to create and manage DSCP scopes as well.